Hi, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles. And this, that's a Cannondale dirt bike. Actually, it's an Enduro model, an E440 that was converted to Supermoto. They did make a Supermoto version, an S440, and they're rare as hen's teeth. These were pretty trick when they came out. They came out around 2000, 2001. This is a 2002 model. Trick about them is the exhaust port was on the back with the intake port on the front. Ram Air, a reversed head like Yamaha does today with their YZ. Fuel injected, electric start, backbone aluminum frame, Olin's front and rear, all standard. These were trick. And here's why you don't want one. That's a milkshake. There's not 10 miles on that oil, probably not even one mile on that oil, and it's contaminated with coolant. I have four of these. Why do I do it to myself? Coincidentally, this is another one. If I have the engine out, it's right there. Inga, get out of the way. Here's the problem. This valve cover is magnesium. Here's your water pump. They were shipped with glycol-based antifreeze, which hits this magnesium, which immediately disintegrates and sheds sludge throughout the motor, right from the factory. Fired up from the factory, and your engine will grenade. That other one actually has been converted and yet the water pump seal still failed and contaminated the oil. So it's not a head gasket deal. It's a water pump and oil seal often combined with this magnesium cover. Unfortunately you can't replace that cover unless you drop the motor. Dropping the motor is not hard. There's actually a rail that unbolts. And you can lower the motor and tilt it forward. You have to leave that exhaust header on because you can't reach the exhaust header through the inside. In this case, I had the swing arm off, but you don't have to do that. You can pull the pivot bolt most of the way out. We're sending that motor out. Put this one back on the road. And then, ugh, I got to start all over again. So here we are at Black Widow. Is it Black Widow Motorsports? What do you call yourself? Black Widow ATV. Black Widow ATV. Ken Deal picking up my Cannondale motor that he's breathed life on. Now, if you've been following me, these Cannondale motors will grenade unless you have them repaired. They were ready to grenade from the box. And Ken is one of the few people that uh, still services these. I think he does it almost exclusively. He's the guy to go to. You can see here, we got rid of that crummy magnesium valve cover. Redid the crank, the cylinder. We're now tuning the ECU and throttle plate so that it will hopefully be easy for us to bolt in and go for a ride. So there are crankshafts being done. 
and here is what happens to the magnesium valve covers like that one's got holes in it and that contaminates your oil turns your engine into a milkshake machine and inevitably it will blow up so here we are tuning the ECU and throttle body to match the bike I guess you have maps that are pretty much made well I have the factory maps and then we have some custom maps um, being this builds a stock one actually I need to find out what it is first did you say it was an E? yeah EC 41C yes uh, 41C it could be either one in 2002 or 2003 the year code says it's a 2002 so we want a 2002 E440 map and let's find your exact bike We got our motor back from Ken Deal at Black Widow. We're putting it back in. This motor, you have to put it in with the head pipe attached, which means you don't drop it down, you slide it forward. These brackets come off, you unplug everything, slide it forward and drop it down. It's actually pretty easy. Now we're buttoning it up. I just put the throttle body, fuel pump I'm fitting, put the injectors in. We gotta put in the radiator. Get it oiled in. Get it oiled and fueled up. Hopefully I didn't screw up. We now come to the moment of truth. We got it all back in, got it buttoned up, and we're gonna see if it goes. And you'll get to hear it. One reader commented, commented, they didn't get to hear the bikes. Run. So, that's because they don't all run all the time, but... He loves the air compressor. So between the air compressor and the motorcycle, she's going to go nuts again. Alright. Wine, 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 wine. i got to keep you away from the lift. So on these, you need a fully charged battery. The battery's a little bit undersized. They have a jumping post back here if you have to jump it. This one has no key. I think the ATVs have a key. Hit the button for a second to pressurize it. 
should hear the fuel pump go. She's gonna break stuff. Once to go. And my battery's probably not holding the charge, so we're gonna jump it. Easy enough to do. Here's how you jump it. Positive battery terminal to the charging post. Other one to ground. That was a provision because these were the really the first dirt bikes with electric start only and no kicker. All right. Here goes take two. gonna swap out that chain it's old put a fresh battery in it and then we'll we'll do a video and compare it to one of the modern bikes that might be a coming up video so if you want to see more of this Cannondale oh and we're gonna do the second there's a supermoto back there we're gonna drop the motor and I'll do a documentary on that one but if you want to see more of this Cannondale Hit subscribe or just follow us and check back later. And thanks for watching.